Well, here we go again. A new study has found that vegans and vegetarians are more likely to have depression and anxiety compared to meat eaters. Feeling sad? Just eat a pile of dino nugs. Okay, I I said that sarcastically, but just looking at dinosaur nuggets actually does cheer me up and... I don't even eat chicken. Um, and thinking about that led me to search to see if any company is making vegan dino nugs. And I am delighted to report that I found this incredibly on topic article from Veg News announcing that corn, that's with a Q, the company, not with a C like the vegetable or with a K like the new metal band. Corn has just this year launched Roarsums in UK shops. The vegan dino nugs were apparently produced in response to a drunken request from a customer in 2018 who emailed the company, Dame dudes, I just really want some dino nuggets to cure my depression. Corn sent at Trash Gremlin 97 a gift box of Dino Nugs on April 15th, but the very next day, Trash Gremlin 97 tweeted about their worsening mental health. So it, it wasn't an immediate cure for their depression, but who knows? You know, maybe it helped, or maybe the only thing that would have really helped is real Dino Nugs made from real dinosaurs. And by dinosaurs, I mean chickens because chickens are dinosaurs. Okay, back to the study at hand. Uh, Are meat eaters more psychologically healthy than those who abstain from meat? And if so, is it because of the meat? Well, this study only tries to answer one of those questions, and it isn't really just a study. It's a meta-analysis, because there have been thousands and thousands of these studies over the years that try to figure out the connection between what we eat and how our brains feel, with many of the biggest, most splashy studies finding that, yeah, vegans and vegetarians are more depressed and more anxious than meat eaters. This paper looked at 20 studies that met their inclusion criteria and found that the bigger, more rigorous the study, the more substantial the difference in the mental health between meat eaters and abstainers. They specifically write no conclusions regarding causality are supported. So they don't know if abstainers have bad mental health because they abstain from meat, if there's some separate factor at play, or if it's all just a coincidence. That hasn't stopped outlets from running with causal headlines in the past, like when Women's Health wrote about the scary mental health risks of going meatless, as if eating a bean burrito is going to turn you into Michael Myers. Let me just say this. It is absolutely possible that abstaining from meat could lead to mental health issues for some people. While vegetarians and pescatarians like myself don't have any trouble getting all of our necessary nutrients from the foods we eat, vegans can miss out on vitamin B12, as that is a product of animal sources. Luckily, vegans can now pick up supplements or food that's been enriched with B12 to avoid a deficiency. But If they don't know about it or they think it's just not that big of a deal, then they can end up suffering an array of problems, including, drumroll please, depression and other mental health issues. Vegans and vegetarians are also at a slight risk of an omega-3 deficiency. Omega-3 fatty acids are absolutely crucial for brain development and function. So if you aren't getting enough, then you could be at risk of depression. There are lots of plant-based foods that have omega-3s like walnuts, flax seeds, and soybeans, but the easiest way to get them is from fish. So again, if a person who abstains from eating fish doesn't know to up their intake of these other foods, then they might have poor mental health. Also, scientists are still figuring out uh, if it matters which fatty acids you consume. So like vegetarians and uh, meat eaters tend to have the same amount of intake of one type of fatty acid, ALA, but two others, EPA and DHA, are low in vegetarians and virtually absent in vegans. Is that bad? Maybe, uh, maybe not. Our bodies are complicated little systems that evolve to eat a variety of foods. So when you cut out one entire chunk of foods, whether that's meat or fruit or anything blue or whatever, yeah, there might be some issues that crop up here and there. 
So yes, it's possible that a person's diet could affect their mental health. Uh, and not just vegan and vegetarian. You know, when I went to my doctor for anti-anxiety and anti-depression medication, he tested my blood and found that I had very low levels of vitamin D, which can be caused by diet. But in this case, my doctor said that it was most likely caused by living in Buffalo, New York during the winter time and not having the sun touch my skin for many months. I don't recommend that. Um, but he also pointed out that vitamin D deficiency can lead to fatigue and depression. So, you know, fatigue and depression can also just be caused by living in Buffalo in the wintertime, regardless of your vitamin D intake, but I digress. A good doctor will make sure you don't have a deficiency like that before putting you on medication to treat the resulting depression. But these deficiencies aren't super common, nor are they limited to those who abstain from meat. You know, the vitamin D thing had nothing to do with my meat intake. So what else might explain these results? Well, I have a few ideas. For a start, many of these studies were conducted in the United States, where an absurd minority of people are vegetarian or vegan. We're talking like less than 5% of people. Being almost any kind of minority in the United States is going to be tough on people's mental health, uh, with some, you know, minorities being worse than others. Like, is being a vegetarian as tough as being black or gay or trans? No way. But you do still have to deal with things like parental confusion, snarky insults from coworkers, annoyance at restaurants, and an alarming number of ignorant questions that force you to justify what you eat every day. Who wouldn't be a little bit anxious or depressed after all that? Here's another thought. Maybe vegans and vegetarians tend to abstain from meat because, in part, they're more educated about the nature of how our society functions, and particularly the horrific conditions that are central to the production of most of our food. Like there's the knowledge of the way that intelligent, amazing animals like pigs and cows are treated. And there's also the knowledge of how meat consumption is exacerbating climate change. I've made this argument in past videos, but it bears repeating. My dog does not experience depression and anxiety over the way humans are destroying the earth, but that doesn't mean that I would want to trade brains with them. Ignorance can be bliss, you know? Another recent study uh, that just came out found that American kids aged six to seven overwhelmingly believe that chicken, pigs, and cows should not be eaten. They're so divorced from the idea of where their food comes from that 40% of kids aged four to seven said bacon is a vegetable. They're very happy eating their dino nugs, but how are they going to feel if and when they're ever forced to confront what's actually in them? Charlton Heston's pals were super happy eating Soylent Green, but he had some pretty severe psychological problems. I wonder why. Soylent Green is Finally, the result of this meta-analysis may have nothing to do with meat abstention at all, but a third thing that connects abstainers to anxiety. A number of studies suggest that vegans and vegetarians are more empathetic than meat eaters, and a number of other studies suggest that empathetic people are more likely to experience a lot of anxiety. So it's not necessarily that abstaining from meat causes anxiety, but that being empathetic causes one to both be more likely to abstain from meat and more likely to experience anxiety. So when you inevitably see fear mongering about this, <laughs> this topic, um, please note that it could be any one of a variety of causes or all of them together. And Please also go get your vitamin levels checked, um, especially if you're a vegan and especially if you're a vegan living in Buffalo, because you need all of the antidepressant help you can get.